Did you just have an awesome day of recreating up in Ogden Valley? Maybe you were at Pine View Reservoir or Kazi Reservoir or one of the three ski resorts up in Ogden Valley. In any case, you gotta probably head down Ogden Canyon to get home, but you're hungry. So come take a drive with me. I'm gonna show you the places to stop and eat on your way down Ogden Canyon. I'm Stacy Christofferson with C4 Real Estate Team in Coldwell Banker in Farmington, Utah. Thanks for going on a drive with me today. Our first stop as we head down Ogden Canyon is the Oaks Restaurant. It reopened in June of 2020 with new owners. This restaurant literally sits next to the Ogden River. I highly recommend if you get there to wait for your turn to sit outside. It's amazing in the summer, in the shade. Um, I don't like being inside as much. Outside has everything that you would want. Their menu is super cool and new and fun from chicken pesto sandwiches to salmon and sirloin. The prices range from about $9 to $25. They do not have a liquor license, but you can get ice cream. The Oaks parking lot can be a little tricky to get out of, especially if there's a lot of traffic. So be super careful when you're pulling out into Ogden Canyon. There's some blind corners, it's hard to see, and cars um, tend to drive fast. So just be careful pulling out of there. Now we're going to head to Gray Cliff Lodge. As we get ready to pull into Great Cliff Lodge, one thing to note is it may not be as kid friendly as the Oaks or some of the other places I'm gonna talk about today. It's a little bit quieter, maybe a great place for date night. It's been open since 1945 and the current owners have owned it since 1979. It's kind of cool, you go in and you can get, like you pick your entree, which you know they have steak and oysters and lamb and chicken. But it, with each meal, you get a fruit cup and you get either super salad, potato or rice, rolls and delicious cinnamon rolls. And then they have fantastic homemade desserts. And the prices range anywhere from $17 to $50 if you go big and get the lobster. They also have a cool ski, ski museum that you can go in and just learn about the history of skis and skiing in Utah. If you're not feeling the Oaks or Gray Cliff Lodge, then we're gonna head down to the mouth of the canyon. It's about a five to six minute drive from Gray Cliff Lodge down to the bottom. I would say the entire time it takes from top to bottom without any traffic is just under 10 minutes in the canyon. So sit tight, we're gonna head down to the bottom. Phew, we made it safely to the bottom. As you come out of the canyon, it starts to widen up and you can see further out. You're gonna take your first left as you come out of the canyon to get to our next restaurant. If you get to Harrison Boulevard on 12th Street, you went too far. So as we take a left here, we're gonna be stopping at the famous Rainbow Gardens. You've probably heard of it. And the restaurant inside Rainbow Gardens inside Rainbow Gardens is the greenery. Great place for sandwiches and soups and burgers. Um, it, the, they are famous for their Mormon muffins. They are a delicious walnut brand muffin that you can buy just to have with lunch or you can take a six pack home if you want to. Most meals run between eight and $11 here at the greenery. 
When you're done eating, you can go check out the Rainbow Garden store. It is jam packed with literally anything that you would need and everything that you would need. It's a great place to just walk around and look at stuff. Before I forget, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. And be sure to click on the video that's popping up now so that you can find out the restaurants up in Ogden Valley too. If you're actually heading up Ogden Canyon then um, and heading into Ogden Valley, we've got videos on the restaurants in both Eden and Huntsville. Our next restaurant on our journey down Ogden Canyon today is the Timbermine Steakhouse. It's across the street from Rainbow Gardens and you'll see the entrance to the Eccles Dinosaur Park. Um, if you head down that road, then you will come to the Timber Mine Steakhouse in about, oh gosh, a couple blocks. The Timber Mine is your typical steakhouse. They do a ton of banquets, so make sure you check on the hours because they are they do have some odd hours due to all the banquets that they do, but they're a typical steakhouse with your filet mignon, New York tenderloin, seafood, lobster, and shrimp. And tune in for great videos about this, moving to Northern Utah, and of course, don't hesitate to call, text, or email us anytime with any of your questions about Utah.